Hey y'all. Okay, so let's get into it. We have only seven to share on this video. So short and sweet. This is December part two. So this is December 15th through 31st. Yeah, there's 31 days. Um, and this is everything that sold $40 or more um, on platforms like Poshmark, Mercari, and eBay. Um, I'll give you a quick description of the item, what it sold for, what I paid for it, what my profit was. Um, that way you have an idea of if you come across this item, what's a reasonable price to pay for it, how it's performing at this time. Um, and you can also kind of see trends like, oh wow, there's a lot of Everlane or there's a lot of this or that or these, it seems like those sweaters are consistently doing well. So um, I love watching what sold videos. I hope this is helpful to you. So yeah, without further ado, let's get to it. Number one, these um, cost of goods are zero because it's from my personal closet. These are some scrub pants by the brand Janu. And huh, I think I actually put the wrong ones in here. I had a pink pair and a white pair, and I think this is meant to be the pink pair, not the white pair. Um, but regardless, they are some Janu jogger scrub pants. Um, I listed them at $55 and 44 days later they sold for $40. So that left me with $32 profit. Um, Janu is a brand that is worth looking at, especially if it's in like really good condition or new with tags. Um, scrubs get expensive and as like a medical professional, you do go through them kind of quickly. Sometimes they can last years, sometimes they don't. So highly recommend that. Um, another brand of scrubs that I have not come across, but if I do come across some other reason price, I would pick up is Figs, F-I-G-S. Um, those two specifically are a little bit higher in cost and have a following. So just so you know. Number two, these um, would have been good if I didn't pay so much for them. So they came via liquidation. I paid $45 for these Everlane sandals. They are the form crossover sandal in black. Um, I listed them at 80. These were store returns and they still have like the protective fil film on the bottom. Um, but someone had definitely worn them because they were like perforated. Like it looked like someone walked on gravel or something. Like it wasn't a smooth surface on the bottom like it used to be when it was new. Um, so they were new, but they were like obviously worn or tried on outside. Um, I mean, you can peel off the protective bottom and they'd be clean at least, but I think there would still be like perforations and it wouldn't be smooth. So keeping that in mind, I did list them at 80. 35 days later, I received an offer for 42. Um, at the time, I don't think I even looked at what I had spent on the item. I think I just accepted because um, again, it was slower sales this month and I probably just didn't even look. So I, someone sent an offer for 42. I had spent 45, so I did lose money. I lost $11.40 on this item. In hindsight, I probably should have looked up what I spent on it um, and held out for at least a little bit more. Uh, but yeah, anyways, lesson learned. Number three, and these came from Savers. This is the brand Vionic. So um, when in really good condition, and at an affordable price, I do recommend Vionic. I've probably sold their stuff. Mm, I'd say I'm still probably within like a handful of times, maybe five times. But um, it tends to sell pretty quickly for a rather good price. Especially when I find it for like $15 and under for cost of goods. So these are the Vionic Leopard Savannah Calf here pointed flats and I found these at Savers um it was I think the same person that donated the next item to they were the same size found on the same day and I paid $13.58 for these I listed them at $55 
and 37 days later, someone sent an offer for 49 or my posture VA sent out an offer. I don't quite remember. And either way, it sold after 37 days, not too bad. And that left me with $23.90. So I would definitely do that again. Next up, another bionic pair. These are the Xana Lizard Print Loafers. And they were in this like really pretty hot pink color. Um, so I did include Barbie Court in the name. I know like Barbie Court is a trend. I don't know how it's like staying alive or if it's like going down or anything like that. But I did include it because you never know. Um, I listed it at $60. 34 days later, it sold for $54. I think this one was a Posher BA offer because um, that's 10%. So, and I automatically have it send out 10%, 10 minutes after someone likes it. So that is probably what that was. Um, not an ad, but I do recommend Posher BA. It definitely is a game changer for sales. It um, automates offers to likers. So I do send out like that 10% offer 10 minutes after they like it. And then maybe, I'd say at least once a week, sometimes twice a week, I'll send out 20 or 30% off offers. It depends on like, I'm really trying to move some stuff. Um, but yeah, it just is a game changer in terms of your time spent sending offers. Um, and also with the 10 minutes after they like it, like it's fresh on their mind. They just liked it. They're thinking about it. Um, I feel like I get a lot of acceptance from that. So... Moving on, <laughs> moving on. Um, number, sorry, no. Okay, so Posture VA offer $54. I spent $13.58. That left me with $29.62. So that's a great return on a pair of shoes that are pre-owned. They were very lightly pre-owned. They were in very good condition, but still nonetheless pre-owned shoes. Um, number five, this um, was still a good sale. So this going along with all the Everlane stuff from um, November part two, you'll want to watch. There was a lot of good Everlane sweater sales in that one. Um, this kind of goes along with that. Still a good sale. Maybe not quite as high as the ones in the November part two video, but still good. Number five is this Everlane oversized Drew Waffle crew neck sweater in cashmere. I listed it at $135 and 32 days later, someone sent an offer for 65. This is one of those instances where I'm like, should I counter? And I think, I think I was just, again, hurting for sales. So just took it, ran with it. 32 days was enough for me. I paid $14. That left me with a $38 profit. So that's a good return on a single item in my book. Uh, number six. These are also Everlane. It's the Italian Leather Day Heels in this black suede. Um, I listed them at $130. 37 days later, I got an offer for $78. I accepted. I paid $45, which left me with $15.68. Um, I do enjoy selling Everlane shoes. I do think 45 is too high of a cost of goods. Um, I still think I probably have only lost money on one of the 10 or the 20 or however many I got, um, which isn't bad. I mean, overall I came out upright, but I think my time is worth more than that profit per item. And yeah, I just would do it again, but with the lower cost of goods. Number seven. This, last but not least, this video is so short, wow. Um, it is by Everlane. It is this cotton linen blazer in white. I listed it at $115 and 42 days later, I got an offer for 80. Um, I think I have maybe five Everlane blazers listed and this was the first one to like get attention 42 days after listing. So I was just happy to get an offer on it. I did accept right away. Um, my cost of goods were 24. So that left me with a $40 profit. So I do consider that a good return. 42 days isn't bad. Um, 
yeah, I think under that 90 day mark is ideal. Even if I'm like nearing that 90 day mark, it seems like, oh, that's kind of a lot to me. And then obviously I have those like, I call them outliers. They seem like outliers um, that are like 200 something days. Thankfully, I think they're outliers. I'd have to do like a real data analysis to see how frequent that is. But there are those that just surprise me and take forever. So um, that's why I include all this info. I feel like I appreciate it in other videos to know how long it took to sell and maybe, I don't know, like if they know of a quick explanation as to why it took forever to sell. Sometimes I know it can be totally different from person to person, um, but nonetheless, I do think the information is useful. So I hope you do too. Um, I'll stop rambling. Thank you for watching and be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and have a good day.